So I'm Martin Per. I'm a professor at the Jackson Laboratory in Bar Harbor, Maine. Well, I'm very, very excited about this opportunity. I'm very grateful to the Society and the Publications Committee for entrusting me uh, with this extremely important job. I regard uh, stem cell reports as one of the most important achievements of the Society in recent years. Uh, it's got a great reputation in the field. It's got a reputation for clarity, fairness, and quality in reviewing, and I think that's a very important thing. We'll, we'll strive to continue that. Uh, most importantly, it's a journal that is run by stem cell scientists for stem cell scientists, and that really, really does make it unique. And uh, I think it will continue to be, we will, we will grow its reputation as one of the two premier journals in the field. Well, I think, I think uh, we have seen a great mix of very strong basic science papers in the stem cell field, along increasingly uh, with papers around translation. Uh, I think uh, we need to continue to build on that great basic science foundation and attract those papers. Uh, but as we move forward towards translation, uh, we, we want to ensure we capture that. We want to uh, make sure we are highlighting uh, some of our uh, younger investigators, uh, that their papers are published there uh, and that they get a lot of good attention. Uh, I'll also be engaging with the clinical translation sector and the industry committee uh, to try and see that the journal is serving their needs and getting, getting the best work uh, from those constituencies. I'd say they get a very rapid fair, thorough, and high quality review process. I'd say that their paper will be cited, uh, that the important people in the field will read it, and increasingly we're going to try and use the front of the book to highlight uh, uh, great papers, uh, to highlight good investigators, and also to consider broader matters, uh, reviews, uh, uh, upcoming uh, features on, on new and emerging areas. I think we're going to look at a range of, of different formats. Uh, I think uh, one thing we will do more of is invited reviews on topical areas. Uh, I'd like to do some question and answers with some of our uh, authors uh, for some, uh, some of the really top papers just to draw attention to them. Uh, there's a lot of policy matters uh, where I think uh, the, the front matter is a great place for uh, discussion of some of these key issues that are arising. Uh, including many ethical issues around new research directions like artificial gametes, uh, synthetic embryos, and, and, and the like. Um, so I think uh, policy areas, uh, I think just very timely, short, brief commentaries that will be of great interest to, to our readership and, and indeed to the field as a whole. I think the affiliation is a real strength and, and one of the best things about the journal. So uh, as you know, our membership uh, represents the best uh, in the stem cell field. Uh, uh, that includes our leadership and, and all of our members and uh, that gives us uh, a, a kind of access to a range of opinions and insights uh, that, that is really special and that the journal can draw on. So, uh, and uh, you know, again, uh, we're going to be looking to engage very closely with the society, its committees and its membership, uh, to encourage them to send their best work here and also uh, to draw commentary and to highlight important emerging issues in the field in the front part of the book, which is really uh, uh, the society section of it. I feel that this is a great opportunity because I think uh, this journal is very, very important to the field. I've been in this field almost since its inception some 20 years ago when human embryonic stem cells were first discovered. Uh, I think we, we have a great responsibility to make sure that it moves forward and achieves some of the promises. Uh, I've been delighted at the progress uh, that I've seen in that time frame. And I think being editor of a journal like this uh, can help maintain the scientific standards to see the best work is, is highlighted and published quickly in a timely fashion. Um, so it's, 
my interest in this field as a whole and my commitment to it that has led me to take up this role.